Hi, hello, one I come and welcome back to yet another episode on Little Sla YouTube channel. So in one of our previous videos where there was a question asked to a person who was it uh, who interviewed. So he asked the person a question that what will you do if or how will you uh, manage or how will you find the reason for high response times if in case you do not have a monitoring tool. So in, to in that video we have discussed in detail about the tool the profiler tools so i have even promised about discussing about one of the profiler tools in our upcoming video so this is a series of videos which we are going to make and this particular tool the visual vm is a standalone tool which will help you to profile your java application so this is mostly uh, related to the Java application. So in case if you are application is Java application and if you want to uh, find the bottlenecks of, of the application you can very well use this Visual VM. So we will start from the basics. So here you have the Visual VM.github.io under this you go to the download page and here if you click on this link the Visual VM 2.1.7 you get a zip file and once you unzip it you will find the following folder here so you find a similar folder like this the visual vm under this go to the bin so this looks something like apache jmeter so you just go to the bin under this you have the visual vm.exe and once you open it you can open the visual vm which you see here so here you can see the visual vm 2.1.7 and this here is the window on the right side let me just close this on the right side you can see the details or the insights about the application that you work on and on the left side you can see what are all the applications or how what are all the aspects that they're going to record or profile so here under local you have the visual vm since this visual vm is built on java so this has been loaded as one of the java application and then you have the remote in case if you want to connect to any remote mission you can connect it through here we will just see them in one of our next upcoming videos and then when you go to the VM code dumps, if you have any virtual machine code dump file, you can add this here and analyze it. And in case if you have any JFR snapshots, we will see them one by one in our upcoming videos. So for now, let's let me give you an introduction. So and again, if you are using a Mac OS, you definitely have an option to do that. So you have a .dmg file which you can use for your Mac OS application but apart from that once only the package gets changed but apart from that everything is same whatever the functionality is the application that you want to test you are going to use the same interface so what is a visual vm so visual vm is a tool the profiler tool that provides a visual interface so when it comes to visual interface here you can see the cpu usage the heap the threads so you can watch the threads how does it behave here at the bottom you can see the inactive threads on the top you can see the running threads and then you can see the sampler so this is again okay, it's, it's it's very intuitive and it's a visual interface uh, window or visual interface thing for viewing any detailed information about again i'm saying it's only for the java technology based applications so while they're running on a jvm so it's always easy for us to monitor or to profile those java applications so visual vm what does it do is it organizes the data about the jvm so jvm is java virtual machine that is retrieved by the jdk which is java development kit tools and it presents the information in a way that enables us to quickly view the data on multiple java applications and in fact we can view the data on local applications and applications that are running on remote hosts. So here you can watch for the applications that are on local and here you can use it for the remote applications. And we can also even capture data about JVM software instances and save the data to our local system and view the data later. So how to start the Visual VM? So we have already seen that part. So ex uh, extract uh, the zip file and then once you go to the bin you have the visual vm.ex and for the first time you will get a, a license a certificate agreement uh, license agreement thing so once you click on agree automatically from the next time you will not get the license agreement part 
So once you start the Visual VM, the Visual VM window opens. So this is the Visual Window VM, Visual Window, and it's divided into two windows. So we have one on the left and one on the right. So initially, when you open the Visual VM, you will see the Applications window in the left side, and you will see the Start page. So here, let me just close this because this is for the Visual VM. So this is what you see at the as the home page. I mean the Start page. It's visible on the right side of the main window. So the start page here you can see it contains the links to the visual VM documentation web pages and for any additional sources here you can see it will take you to the visual VM home and uh, let me go back so it will again this takes you to the get started of the visual VM. So these are some of the documentation parts and any additional resources which will help you to understand the application to make sure you are understanding how to work with the tool. Again, the application window, which is opened in the left side of the Visual VM window when we launch the application. So this will show us the local applications, the remote applications. So this application window is the main point of entry for exploring the details of running applications because this application window uses a tree structure. So if you, if you can like collapse it or if you want, you can expand it. So using this, uh, using this tree structure, we can quickly view the applications which are running on the local machine and on any connected remote machines. We can even uh, access code dumps from the Solaris or Linux OS and we can save the snapshot from the application window. So now let's see one of the example of how to use the application window node. So the application window has nodes and sub nodes that we can expand to view running applications and saved files. For most nodes in the application window, we can view additional information and perform actions by right clicking the node and by choosing an item from the pop-up menu. And uh, let me see, I'll, I'll just show you an example. So we all know one of the main Java based java built application which is the jmeter so i will show you what happens if we open the jmeter so at the moment we open the jmeter here you can see it shows let me just minimize restore it so this local node here it displays the name which is here is patchy jmeter along with the process id so if you see the process id of the uh, this application is 25160 which is running on the same system as the visual vm so here is running the same machine so that's why we are seeing it under the local so when we launch the visual vm and expand the local node this visual vm automatically displays the currently running java applications because visual vm is always listed as one of the local applications so when a new local java application something like the apache jmeter is launched a node for that application appears under the local node so here you can see under the local node it's opened and the application node disappears when we close it. So for now we can see the Apache JMeter. Let me just double click and open it. Yeah. So here we can see. So here's the process ID the of the JMeter and then we have the host which is local host. And then the main class is Apache JMeter. So in any case if you have any other Java based application which are running as part of in your, in your local machine or in case if you're running this in your load generator so you can connect it to the local remote host and you can watch all this information from here so what are all the options we have so the first thing is when, when i'm just right clicking on this apache jmeter so here i have open which will open the tab for the application in the main window where we can view the application data so this has to be done before uh, opening this button here and then after that, we have the sample, which will take us to the sample screen. And then we have profile, which will take us to the profiling screen where we can see the profile results. And then we have the start JFR. So in case if we want to start the JFR, we can watch the JFR data. And in case if we want to create a thread dump, we can just watch, we can just see the thread dump for this application. So full thread dump Java hotspot is here. Here you can see we have got the thread dump for this application and then in case if you want to collect the heap dump yes it's always available so here you can see the heap dump of this application 
then we have the application snapshot so when i click on this application snapshot here you can see we have got the thread dump and the heap dump for this application and finally the properties <clears throat> so let me just show you one more thing so here under the monitor here you can see there is no utilization so far from the apache geometry because there is nothing it's running in the application so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to just open our recent project the batch job testing so in case if you have not viewed the video on how to do the batch job testing please do visit uh, my channel and you can find the video for how to do the batch job testing so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to run this test with let me just take it to 500 with three users and let me save it so so far you can see there is no utilization or there is less utilization of the heap and there is less, less utilization on any of the other metrics so let me start the test so the moment we started the test automatically you can see here in just few seconds let me just go to the view results tree so here automatically the test has started to run and in next few seconds automatically you can see there will be an increase so let me just close it i think we are on window let me just open it yep monitor yeah so here you can see under the apache monitor here you can see the cpu has crossed 34 percentage and the heap has crossed more than it's closer to actually 500 mb of data and the total loader has increased same way the number of peak threads has increased here you can see the live threads is closer to 500 to 600 more than 500 to 600 so this is how you can watch or you can find the profiling in fact you do not want any other uh, tools right so you can easily profile you can find what when exactly does this heap gets increased or when does exactly the threads go high during your testing or when does it has any spike so at that point of time if you take a thread dump or if you take a heap dump or if you find if you go to your threads so here you can see you can see the thread group so same way if you are running your application you can very well watch your application and you can find those details in here so here you can see it takes this particular threads takes 7.571 milliseconds and in fact it can help you to understand the response times and how much time does it take so it very well helps you to profile so that's the advantage of using the profiler especially this visual vm so so far we saw about a very basic introduction of visual vm so in our next video we will see the advanced topics we will make some extensions we will see what exactly is a thread what exactly is a sampler what is a profiler how to uh, explore the thread dump how to explore the heap dump so until I meet you in our next video, it's going to be more interesting. So until then, it's bye-bye from Asin Shandukam and Tilsla.